Hello and welcome to this beginner-friendly SolidWorks tutorial. Today, we will guide you through the process of creating a 3D model of an eccentric square to round transitions duct. Let's get started. Step 1. Selecting the front plane and drawing a rectangle. To start, select the front plane in your SolidWorks workspace. Use the Sketch tool to draw a rectangle with dimensions of 60 inches by 40 inches. Step 2. Adding structural members. From the Weldments toolbar, select the Structural Member tool. Choose the angle profile with dimensions 3 inches by 3 inches by 0.25 inches. Adjust the angle to create the flange angle required for our transition. Step 3. Creating additional planes. Next, we need to add two planes that will be used to create the transition body. The first plane should be 2.75 inches from the face of the angle, and the second plane should be 45 inches. Step 4. Drawing sketches on the planes. On one of the planes, draw a sketch of one half of a circle. On the other plane, draw a sketch of one half of a rectangle. Ensure you add the necessary dimensions to these sketches.
Step 5. Using sheet metal tools to create the transition. Utilize the lofted bend tool from the sheet metal toolbar to create half of the transition. Use the transition face as a reference for the sketch and add another transition section that is 2.5 inches long. Step 6. Creating mirroring the transition. Use the mirror tool relative to the right plane to create the base of the transition. Step 7. Adding a round flange. Finally, add a round flange to complete your eccentric square to round transitions duct. Thank you for watching this SolidWorks tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and design guides. Happy designing!